Okay, doke, I've just got the little light on this, but it will go off in a second. This is the Aneng 8, uh, sorry, 620A, Aneng 620A, and it's these new, very cheap, um, when I say cheap, uh, uh, you know, inexpensive should be the word, uh, multimeters that are coming out. These have just been released uh, at a, as a low cost, um, I think it was about 23 or $24 as the um, pre-release about two months ago on these, and I bought a couple and just pre-ordered them. And I was, um, you know, curious because I, you know, me, I want bigger, bigger, bigger as far as letters, uh, numbers, etc. Uh, so that when I'm looking at, uh, oh, we'll probably go plug it into something. But nice big features like this here, and don't mind that. That's my probes here. Hang on, let's get off that. Uh, but let's just have a bit of a look at what it does. Okay, firstly, um, I've just got it hooked up, and I've got this glare that's happening here because of my fluoro. So let's see if we can just. Try and get the light in a better spot, maybe. Let me turn the light off, that might be better. Okay, um, so I'm connected to a Master Instruments decade resistance box, and um, this was, um, uh, I reckon, Bill, I reckon VK2KT. I got a feeling if this is the one, this is the one that they tried to let go in an auction for $10, and I think I bid 50 in the end because I just thought. It's worth heaps more than that even. If that's the same one, Bill, you can comment. I think so. Um, but let me tell you, um, uh, look, brilliant box. Um, used it before for a couple of little, little bits and pieces, so I've you know, shown it to be quite accurate. And at the moment, we're in the hundreds, ohm, hundreds of ohms, um, and uh, we're in zero, zero on the decade and single counter. So, of course, 30 ohms. Um, is uh, 300 ohms, <laughs> decades, <laughs> 30 ohms, that'll be right. <laughs> My maths is going well here. Uh, maybe if I look at the meter, it's 300 ohms. Um, and now we'll just sort of click through and we'll go, right, let's just change that to 400 ohms. And you'll find there'll be a slight variance, of course, uh, with the tolerances, the resistors, etc. And that's just doing nicely. As we go up, you're showing just a slight difference in tolerance uh, now we've switched over there to 0.7 k ohms so before we were reading interesting when we were under 500 ohms we were reading you know as uh, triple digits but then we've switched to moving the decimal place now as it's getting closer to um, to a uh, thousand ohms it is obviously getting ready for this where I might say let's throw in um, exactly that let's add a thousand ohms so 1.8 1.8 k ohms etc uh, and uh, ideally, if I do this too, 11.8 k ohms. So I've just added 10,000 ohms, 1,000 ohms, um, 900 ohms, zero zero. So yeah, look, that's reading well. That's that's really actually doing a great job. And um, I'm just uh, going to give it a random 51 k. Let's go. Let's put it back to all zeros. 50 k, 49.9. So yeah, not too bad and uh, uh, moving along there let's have a look okay so we've worked out it can read resistance which I think great because um, uh, that's a that's a nice facet let's see if it can read capacitance very curious now I'm using an, uh, a capacitor that's sitting in on the board um, so um, uh, just be aware that there will be some variances because I'm also using a crocodile clip lead. All this doesn't make for an accurate capacitance reading, but should give us something. Uh, so what have we got here? This is um, whoop, 2200 um, uh, microfarad, uh, 25 volt working voltage. So let's have a look and let's just see what it does with an in-circuit. Now keeping in mind in-circuit is not the smartest way to be doing this, but I just happened to grab this board and thought it'll do. So we're going to go bring that a bit closer so I can show you how bodgy this test is. Alright, nanofarads, hang on, let's get that on properly, that's better. Right, nanofarads, microfarads, it's having a think. Millifarads, interesting. So we're going to have to move the decimal place if we're going to read, and we do. Alright, so 2.5 millifarads. Now if you remember, uh, we've got to move the decimal place, which would get us around 2,500 microfarads. So yeah, for an in-circuit situation like this, that's all right. That's fine. Gives me a pretty good idea that capacitor is working, and um, uh, this meter is starting to make itself worth everything. Oh, every bit of that twenty-three dollars or whatever it was. Let's test a couple other modes. Okay, so we just hooked up to a little supply here with thirteen point nine. 
this is probably more accurate, 13.87. Um, so, yep, uh, it's reading 57.6 hertz. But, uh, yeah, look, that's that's working fine. Uh, let's um, have a look if we... This has an adjustable voltage on it. So, we've just adjusted that voltage to 8.1 volts. 8.18 volts, close enough for me. We'll put that back to 13.8 before I realise that, you know, I've forgotten to put it back. Remember on these again that if, I hold the, if you hold the top button in, that'll give you your display for about 30 seconds, I think, from memory. So, um, okay, so there is another function uh, which is a bit interesting. So we're going to go over to a thing called Live. Now, I'm not a big fan of anything for electrical that isn't qualified to be exactly that. Oh, hang on, wrong button. Oh, oh sorry, because I've got a voltage on it. Right, let's just take that volt so it can reset. I can see what it's, um, it's not happy with me. Right, we'll try that again. Now, now we've got some um, voltage taken off it. By the way, there's two side buttons on here, just to explain. Um, and I'm sort of, because I'm trying to work with um, uh, camera in one hand, etc. can get it. Anyway, so live. Let me show you what live does, and this is a good one. Um, and I, as I said, I'm not a big fan of things that plug into PowerPoints, but, um, so one lead. Let's get that a bit closer to the PowerPoint. It's my old dodgy, you know, PowerPoint here that should be thrown away. So we go in there. Oh boy, sorry, I'll just put that over. Look at that. Just having a bit of trouble getting on contact there, which is a really good, oh, hang on. What about we use one of these ones up here? Okay, much better. Actually, um, so, so basically, one lead to any of these points here, it says straight away live. You can see the, the level, everything about it goes red, and it says, that PowerPoint's dangerous. Well, not dangerous, it's live. <laughs> well, it's dangerous too. Um, okay, so um, overall, uh, once again, look, the only reason I say sticking things in PowerPoints um, is that there's a lot of, you know, really good electrical equipment that is probably better for that type of job. Uh, but for a quick, you know, pop that into a PowerPoint single probe only required, um, sure. Um, but I just don't like the idea of relying on something that uh, like this. Um, uh, you know, we're, we're able to sort of pop that in there, and you know, and but see how if I move the wrong way, um, you know, I can miss the the contact. So if, if I'm capable of missing that contact, then I'm capable also of thinking that point is not live because I did it did too quick a check. Um, I know that you know that point up there is live, so it's easy for me to muck around with it. But yeah, I do prefer you know proper accredited uh, electrical testers for that sort of stuff. So that, that's only a very minor criticism. Criticism. Um, okay, so we'll get back into our auto mode. Uh, one last mode to show you. Okay, and actually we'll go over to Celsius um, again. Oh, I we'll get there. Nanofarads live back to this one. Okay, so here's our temperature. Now, this is a little thermocouple probe. Um, please don't think that this is meant to be uh, plugged into PowerPoints or anything like that. Um, watch this as I put my fingers on it. We're warming it up, this little thermocouple probe. They don't, in the booklet, really make it um, 100%. Well, they, they do, but it's kind of hidden in the fine print. People might get confused that, um, that this is something to be used with the live test. Obviously, it won't work because it's not what it is. Um, and you know, and as you can see, as I'm touching it, temperature goes up um, to um, what's, the, what's the hottest part of me? Put it on my on my cheek. See if my cheek's very hot. All right, what about my forehead? <laughs> Just I'm trying to find. I would have thought it'd be a little bit warmer than 29 degrees Celsius. I don't know. Hang on. I'm really doing some silly things with this here. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Soldering iron. Let's just bring this over here somewhere so that you actually see this. Now, <laughs> there's one way to bring some temperature uh, up, isn't there? Okay, so the soldering iron is sitting at probably around about 350 at a guess. No, about 300. 290, 290, yeah, 300. Okay, so there you go. So that's working. <laughs> um, 
just, I mean, you, you don't use it a lot, but you might sort of now and again, um, just for di different applications. Uh, you know, just uh, you're testing um, heat sinks and, uh, um, well, you know, even some of the new LDMOS stuff, I suppose. You know, um, although I've seen the guys that do that. I mean, they're using much more sophisticated things than this. <laughs> so, yes. All right. Anyway, that is the Aneng 620A. Uh, to be very honest with you, I think probably the best 20 odd dollars that you could spend. Um, I don't know what price Banggood's got them for today. Um, they were pre-ordered at 23, I think it was. I, I'd, look, I'd have to check my invoice. And look, that might have been worth uh, plus about five bucks post, but I, I know for a fact we landed these under 30 bucks. So great little meter for what they are. Um, and um, got to be the cheapest, largest display multimeter on the market at the moment. Um, and somebody will come out and say, no, nah, you're wrong. Here's one for 10 bucks, probably. <laughs> but anyway, sounds good, doesn't it? All right, 73s to you, all the best. Um, and uh, I'm going to get back to doing some real stuff here. We've just bought the um, Marconi up here, and I'm just uh, starting to, this is um, actually one we're just going to do a full test on and, and uh, make sure that it does everything it does. Uh, one of quite a lot of these style radios that are going to go out the door very soon. So uh, hang in there. It's all going to happen. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll keep you in touch with uh, what's going on. Okay, 73s. And uh, thanks for having a look at our little, um, well, well-priced, very efficient little multimeter. Cheers.